Hello everyone, thank you for coming up today. My old subscribers, thank you. And to those that are viewing for the first time and that have not subscribed, please click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. And to my new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. Please do not forget to hit on the like button. Nollywood actress marriage has crashed. This is a popular actress that everybody knows because she's always out there on social media, either saying one thing or the other, either having one clash or the other with somebody for one reason or the other. And that made her very, very popular on social media. And that is no other than actress Idimudia Etinosa. She and her new husband have parted ways. And this was announced by SDK. However, Etinosa's husband, that's, that is Igorosa, and the actress have allegedly parted ways a few months ago due to irreconcilable differences. But the reason for their divorce was not stated by SDK, who actually confirmed this news. And Etinosa has since moved with her daughter you could recall she just gave birth a few months ago to a lovely baby girl but right now she has left Benin City where she was staying with her newly wedded husband down to Lagos at the moment she is in Lagos and Etinosa and Igorosa that's her husband had a quiet wedding in September you also know that the wedding wasn't pronounced most people didn't even know that she was married not until she gave birth and then she brought out her baby picture, even baby bomb. And that was when a lot of people were asking questions. And that was where it just confirmed that she was married. But she had a very quiet wedding to herself and her own husband. And as such, they now welcomed a baby girl that same year, December, after she got married. That's 2020 in December. She welcomed her baby girl. And the actress... However, confirmed this after posting a message on her Instagram. She now went to warn SDK for breaking the news about her crashed marriage. And this is exactly what Etinosa had to say. You remember? And we all know that Etinosa is always good to come out. She's always good at facing anybody that will either come after her. She will still come online and she would lash back at the person. She wouldn't just hold it back. And she's done that now to SDK. This is what she had to write. This old witch again. I really didn't want to reply you, but I feel you will never stop if I ignore. You were the first person to publicize my pregnancy that was barely trying to survive. Past first trimester due to its complications. I kept quiet. Now again, you have come. And I know you have receipts. Else, you won't dare us to deny. I don't blame you. It's the close friend, the insider, who is feeding you. May God forgive that person. Everyone is going through something, including you. Thanks for getting this huge burden off my chest. You tried. But please, from now on, avoid me, Stella T, for thanks. This is what Etinosa had to say. And she's really, really saddened. And this is today. Actress Etinosa Idimo there had to pen this down on her Instagram to this particular blogger who had now come out to reveal that SDK about her broken marriage and she didn't find that funny at all and the nollywood actress idimedia and her new husband that was dead this was the other information that was passed out he said that the new husband who fathered her beautiful daughter have parted ways according to stella dimoko kokus blog sources and the husband whose first name is given as igorusa and the actress are alleged to have parted ways a few months ago due to irreconcilable differences. And SDK blog sources, 
who did not state the reason for the breakup, confirms that indeed both have parted ways and the actress has left Benin and returned to Lagos with her daughter. Itnosa and Igorisa got married very quietly in a traditional wedding in September 2020 and in December 2020 they welcomed their daughter. This is the exact post that SDK had posted today, this morning, that Saturday 8, 2021. But Etinosa is not finding that funny at all. She is now saying that SDK has been intruding into her private life. That from what is ex explaining also from her Instagram, that SDK came out again to talk about her pregnancy. And according to Etinosa, she said, it was during her first trimester and that time was very hard for her because she was going through a lot of complications with her pregnancy and that to make matters worse, she hadn't come out in the open or in the public to say anything. You know, sometimes some people, when they are pregnant and they are seeing that things are not moving fine with the pregnancy, they would rather keep it to themselves and even not say anything about them being pregnant all because they don't know what's going to happen next. So for that reason, they tend to keep all those things to themselves and their family alone in case anything happens. It won't be that they had come out to announce about their pregnancy and then what will happen at the end. These were part of the reasons that Etinosa kept it all to herself. But SDK, after finding out that she was pregnant in that first trimester, now came out online again to announce that Etinosa was pregnant. But according to Etinosa, she didn't reply her. She just had to let it go because she was concentrating on the complications she was going through. But thanks be to God, it came out in the end. A bouncing baby girl was delivered safely without problems. Now again, the same SDK came is out with the release of her broken marriage and this marriage had even ended a few months ago it's not like the marriage crashed yesterday or it crashed today so it is saying that she knows it's friends that has actually released the information to sdk and that sdk not even holding back came out online again to put out her family in the open and Etinosa was is not happy with that at all and that was why Etinosa had to go back and reply her on Instagram this morning again and saying she is intruding into her own private life everything about her she brings it out in the open and Etinosa was pointing out at something and saying she is not the only person with problems every family goes through one problem or the other which we all know and that is true and she is also telling the SDK herself that you also have issues with your own self or one problem or the other you are going through and then you now paint me like I am the only person having issues in my own marriage and the blogger's name is really is actually known as Stella T and she wasn't okay with that at all bringing her out in the open for etinosa was the wrong thing for her to do again and etinosa said she didn't want to reply at first but she felt she ignored her for the first one she did when she was pregnant and now again she's coming out to put out her family in the public again and that she is not keeping quiet she needed to give her some sorts of feedback from how she felt about this but guys what do you all think i think there's a point it's is making there everybody that's the truth everybody has problems he or she is going through there is no perfect human being or there's no perfect home or there are no perfect situations as the world is right now you would find out that some people are battling with different things in different ways and except you hear it or accept the voice out before you will get to know and again people's privacy i think it should be a thing that it should be up to that person who would come out himself or herself to say this is what is happening and a teenager who is always known for going out on social media and saying stuff could say stuff about people 
or come back at people especially maybe she's seen certain things that are not okay or someone has come at her she still goes back online to face that person but here she's talking about her own private life that things are happening or going bad for her and sdk is using that as an opportunity to come out in the public in the social media to lay it out there if we look at it critically i think people's problems should be up to them to decide if they want to come out in the public to make it known or if they want to keep it to themselves if it were celebrations or things of joy you come out and say it even without the person's consent it's a different thing i think it's something that everybody would want to share and celebrate with you but when you're having issues or struggling with yourself or with your family and then you didn't want anybody to know all of a sudden it's out there and once you put something on social media you can't withdraw it it's already there it's permanent for life because Google search would always pop it up and all of that. In this situation, I think people should learn to let people's situations or problems be to themselves. It should be up to that individual who is facing that thing, decide if I want it out there or not. And not just going out to fish out people's predicaments or pain they are going through and put it out there in the open despite the fact that etinosa is also a social media person who wants to always come out and say things but for her anything that has to do with her own personal family issues she didn't want to bring it out in the public and she wanted to keep it to herself we all go through one problem or the other in life so people's problems should not be something that anyone should take joy or pride in bringing it out there and letting people know. Like I said earlier, there is no perfect home. Neither is any perfect being without any problem or the other. A lot of people are struggling through different things. A lot of people are having difficult situations right now. And if you start bringing out people's issues in the public, not everybody likes that some people are comfortable they don't care but a lot of people would not want whatever problems they are going through to be out there especially issues of marriage is few cases that certain people even the celebrities will come out themselves and they will announce that we are going our separate ways and would appreciate it if our privacy is being respected those ones they come on their own to announce that they are parting ways but some would never say it despite the fact that they are celebrities they will still want to keep it to themselves for reasons best known to them and in such situations i think that should be up to the individual to decide if he or she wants to come out in the open and then say this is what is happening and in some cases some people are even being sued for things like this because you didn't ask for their permission you just went out there to announce their private problems that they are struggling with which definitely no one would appreciate that especially when it has to do with your own immediate family issues or your own personal issues not public issues you're having with either organization or with anybody well probably at this time sdk may understand properly that some people don't like their personal life out there in the public but you know etinosa is also a social media person notwithstanding she barely comes out to say things about her family even that marriage when she had waited nobody even knew about it it was just very quiet not until she had given birth to her baby that was when it came out that she was already married but married secretly nobody should be happy for anybody's predicament or anybody's divorce or separation it's never a good thing people go through pains when they are divorcing it's not like they are jumping and then they're excited and all if you go and check deeply either of the party is not happy and wished that it never happened but it has happened and cases like this shouldn't be something that anybody would derive joy or pride in doing friends what do you all think about this for SDK bringing out um, Atinosa's issues 
out in the public. First was the issue of her pregnancy, which Etnosa claimed she had complications with. And now it's her crashed marriage that is already out there, not from Etnosa herself, but from the SDK blogger. Please, if you have anything to say, you can put that down at the comment section. But at the same time, people should not be happy for people's downfall, for people's crashed marriages, for people's problems. It should not be a thing of joy or celebration from anybody at all. People go through a lot. Some people will be struggling with pains even while those things are happening with them. Thank you. Please don't forget to subscribe. Hit on the like button. Also, hit on the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video friends i'm here today to talk about how to start up a new youtube channel so for those that are looking to start up a new youtube channel probably you've been trying to figure out how to go about it or you have been trying to see what it entails or what you need to start that's why I'm here today to give you the easy way for you to get this done. Not just the easy, but the best method and also to give you or to talk about the best teacher who will give you all that it's required for you to start up your own YouTube channel. This is a teacher. He is really successful with his YouTube and he has been a teacher for so long now. Teacher is Matt Pa. He's going to give you a step-by-step -step method on how to start up your own YouTube channel. No stone unturned. Every step of the way, he's going to lead you through it. You have links that you can actually reach out to him and communicate with him directly. That's Matt Pat there. You can see the huge successes he has made in YouTube. You can see his silver. You can see the gold. You can also see his revenue that he's actually making on YouTube, which is very huge. He is going to give you a YouTube step-by-step -step tube mastery class. Every step of the way from the beginning of the opening of the channel to how you can start up and put up your videos. He is leaving no stone unturned like I said. So for those that are seeking for how to start up their own YouTube channel, this is the easiest and the fastest way for you to have access to this particular teacher who is honest and straightforward and you will enjoy every bit of the class and you will have lots of gain. At the end of your class, you will have lots to hold on to and to start up your own YouTube channel. It's going to be like an ABC class starting from the scratch so please for those of you that are interested in starting up your own youtube channel Matt Pa, he is the teacher and you will have direct access to him i'm dropping the link below so please you just click on that link and you will have access to Matt Pa's class he is going to give you the whole content of YouTube and all that it takes for you to be successful in YouTube and how to start YouTube from the scratch. Like I said, and I'm going to repeat, he's leaving no stone unturned. And it's so interesting that if you have any kind of complaint, no matter the time you have this complaint or you are confused about anything, you can communicate directly to him and he will give you a response as soon as he gets your question or as soon as he gets your mail or anything you're trying to confirm from him. 
he is quick at responding and he will give you the right answers and even if you go elsewhere to search you find out that what he is saying is actually true he wouldn't mislead you so please for those of you that want to start your own youtube channel from the scratch and see how you can be successful on youtube please go to this link click on the link below so you will have access to the teacher that's the teacher there you can see and see his success you can go through that and then you click on the link so that you can have direct access to Mark Pa himself this teacher you will enjoy and enjoy every bit of the classes that he is going to give to you so friends do not forget to click the link below so you have access to math pass to mastery class and he will give you the best teaching for you to you will really need to start your own channel friends thank you for coming up today please for those that have not subscribed click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video Thank you once again and God bless you all.